So the history of this food bank starts back in 1981. Uh, originally we formed as the Capital Area Food Bank of Texas. At that point we were mainly focused on the city of Austin. Since then we've expanded the area that we cover to 21 counties in central Texas. It became pretty apparent a few years ago that the old facility just wasn't big enough. So in 2014 we uh, started a capital campaign and the result is the building that we're, we're standing in today. And we moved in in June 2016 and rebranded as the Central Texas Food Bank to really uh, acknowledge the fact that we're in Central Texas, not just Austin. At our old facility, we had about 85 employees and uh, we were busting at the seams that everybody was sharing an office. So the need was out there that we needed more staff to be able to fulfill the mission, but without the new facility, that just physically couldn't have happened. On any given shift, we can have about 120 volunteers. At our old facility, we could only handle about 60. That capacity means we can then process a lot more food. And not only do we have more people, but we were able to redesign sort of the system, the processes. And that's probably about 34% more efficient than before. So it's more efficient, and we've got more volunteers, so that means more food gets out to the community. One of the advantages to the new facility is we have 15 dock doors compared to the two dock doors at our old facility. And what that meant was that there might, might be a driver that had gone out and rescued some food and is now having to wait an hour to unload. Uh, so now we can have uh, receiving on one part of the dock and then distribution on the other. And in the middle we have partner agencies that are able to pick up food. So it, it might seem like a, a small thing, but more dock doors means we're able to do a lot more. Five years ago, we were able to just distribute maybe 20 million uh, pounds of food. Uh, this past year, we did 38 million, but the capacity of this new facility will allow us to do around 60 million. The garden that we have at the food bank, not only can we grow food, but we can also use it as an educational tool. So our nutrition team will be able to bring in the people that we serve and show them how things are grown, that you just don't show up to a grocery store and suddenly it exists. We'll also be able to pick some items that day, do a nutrition class, cook something that someone's picked that day, and we feel like it's a way for people to connect, understand where it comes from, as well as be excited about cooking something they might not have cooked before. We provide children's meals, and one of the key periods is during the summer. And there's a summer food service program, and our kitchen is able to produce those meals. Before, we would buy them from someone else and just deliver them, but those meals now, we uh, can make sure they taste good, they look good, and they're nutritious. And so that quality control makes a big difference. And we want to make sure that not only is it nutritious, but it's tasty and children are gonna actually eat the meals. The, the New Marcus Tax Rate Credit Program was essential. Without it, literally, we would not be sitting in this building. Our donors are very generous and very supportive of the food bank, but there was a gap that we needed to find another way to raise money to make it possible. And so NMTC was, was that solution. And not only did it provide the gap, but also it, it gave a spark for other donors to step up. We had several donors that would say, when you get close, come back. And NMTC was what made it close. And as I look at the process, it's a, it's a complex process. And the Baker Tilly team um, made that an easier process. So I think the thing that made the Central Texas Food Bank project very attractive to the community development entities was the expanded impact it was going to have on the low-income um, community through increased access to fresh and healthy food. Everybody there is really passionate about what they do, and I think that just shows in the job they do on a daily basis, the effort and, and all the time and resources they put into the project. Um, so just a great team, great people to work with. As I looked at the project at the beginning, it was very daunting, and, and I thought uh, I was going to be spending a lot of hours doing it. Baker Tilly's team was able to help navigate that, that their, their knowledge, their expertise, and, it's, uh, and their, really, uh, their advice meant that uh, in the end, it was a successful project. The New Market Tax Credit projects, you know, the result and the impact is very tangible. So when these are, projects are done and financed, when we go back and visit them, you can see that it, the impact that that's having on the community. And the Central Texas Food Bank is a great example. When you go back to that facility and you see the volunteers there that are working, and supporting the community through their efforts, and then just the, knowing that the people that that's helping and that service that's providing, that's really rewarding. So I think it's very interesting from a financing standpoint, but I think the most rewarding part is seeing the projects through um, to fruition and the impact that they really have on the community that they're serving.